Invasive vines have the potential to smother bushland and reduce biodiversity. There are a number of vines found on the Sunshine Coast that are listed as restricted under the Biosecurity Act. These vines must not be distributed either by sale or gift or released into the environment. Thumbergia grandiflora and laurifolia are vigorous perennial climbing vines. Cat's claw creeper is particularly destructive in riparian areas such as along the Mary River. Madeira vine is a prolific spreader with its capacity to regenerate from stem fragments and aerial tubers. Dutchman's pipe is poisonous to the larvae of the endangered Richmond birdwing butterfly. Balloon vine seed is spread easily by water and wind and its leaf is similar to the native grapevine. Climbing asparagus fern has fine feathery leaves and is very thorny growing up to 12 metres. Kudzu is a rapidly growing vine that can reach 20 to 30 metres. Its large tubers can remain viable for several years and its leaves are compound with three leaflets. Invasive vines can be cut at the base and either dug out or treated with herbicide. Stems can also be scraped with a sharp tool and herbicide can be sprayed or painted on. Madeira vine produces aerial tubers which means ideally the whole vine should be removed and bagged up. You will need to follow up and monitor areas and dig out any regrowth or spot spray. I first discovered the Thumbergia probably about 20 years ago when I realised that um, trees were being smothered and actually dying. Since then I've been attempting to keep it under control. The impact that Thumbergia's had on this property is that uh, it has spread and it actually climbs well established trees and chokes them to the point that they actually die. To manage some verdure to date, I've tried various methods. Uh, the first one was to um, cut and paint the, the roots and the tubers. And then I've tried to, um, I've just sprayed the foliage. Advice I'd give to other landholders would be to attack it vigorously early on. It's, it's, it, spreads, it spreads very quickly. Once invasive vines have been removed, ongoing monitoring and revegetation is important to outcompete any regrowth. Council undertakes biosecurity programs to assist residents to manage their biosecurity risks and help them become compliant with the Biosecurity Act regulations. Council has knapsack kits and quick spray units available for hire, free of charge to residents. Get started and download the Weeds of South East Queensland app today. Contact Council's Customer Service Centre for further assistance and advice or to talk to a Vector and Pest Plant Control Officer about pest plant identification and control on your property.